Welcome to Grandma's Bedtime Stories. I'm glad you're here. Before the story, do you have a loose tooth? Well, you know, that's normal. You take out the tooth, and what do you do with the tooth? Do you know? You put it under the pillow, and you go to sleep, and the tooth fairy might bring you some money in place of your tooth. Sometimes it takes a couple of days. The tooth fairy has a lot of teeth sometimes to pick up from different children. That's happened, just be patient. And when your adult teeth come in, be sure and take care of them. Because when you get older and you haven't taken care of them, you might lose your teeth. And then you'll have to buy new teeth so you can eat. I had to buy new teeth because I don't have all my teeth in my head. <laughs> so that's a scary thought, isn't it? So take care of your teeth now. Now let's on to the story. Today's story is called A Quarter from the Tooth Fairy. And it's by Karen Holtzman, illustrated by Betsy Day, Math Activities by Marilyn Burns. Got your blanket? Cuddled up in your bed? Ready to listen? All right. I found a shiny quarter where I put my tooth last night. I could hardly wait to spend it, but I wanted to do it right. I jumped up on my bicycle with the money from the fairy. I knew just what to do with it by a monster from my friend Mary. I hadn't had that monster long when I was surprised to find I didn't feel right. It felt all wrong. I guess I changed my mind. I raced over to Mary's house and made it just in time. Mary took her monster back. I got a nickel and two dimes. I rode my bike around the block and came to my favorite store. I parked my bike and cash in hand. I walked through the door. I saw gumballs, kites, and games, games, games. Too sticky, too big, too much. So I bought a spaceship pencil. It was the perfect touch. I hadn't had that pencil long when I was surprised to find it didn't feel right. It felt all wrong. I guess I changed my mind. I turned and rode back to the store, the pencil in my sack. I gave the clerk the pencil and I got five nickels back. I had the change in my pocket when I saw my old friend Jim. Jim said, it's hot, but I know what. Come with me, we'll swim. I still had my money with me when we finally reached the pool, and there I bought Loop's red goggles because they looked so cool. I hadn't had those goggles long when I was surprised to find. They didn't feel right. They felt all wrong. I guess I changed my mind. When Jim, I found Loopy. She was flipping over at Kenny's. She was happy to have her goggles back in exchange for 25 pennies. Now that I had my money back, I thought about what to do. I stopped to look at the animals and bought a sticker at the zoo. I hadn't had that sticker long when I was surprised to find. It didn't feel right. It felt all wrong. I guess I changed my mind. The woman at the zoo was nice. She said, here's your quarter, kid. But now I was pretty tired from all the buying and returning I did. It seemed so very silly to keep changing and changing my mind. Suddenly, I had a great idea. This was an idea of a whole new kind. I hurried on home to my house and yes, I'm telling the truth. The quarter went under my pillow and I bought back my tooth. <laughs> what 
Isn't that kind of a silly story? But maybe you learned something. 25 can be many things. It can be a quarter. It can be two times, two dimes and a nickel. It could be five nickels, or it can be 25 pennies. They all equal the same, don't they? Well, good for you for learning something today. Thank you for being with me, and I hope you'll be with me again next week for another story. See you next week. Bye-bye now.